Hey guys, LP here. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video for you uh, before the weekend ends. Um, first and foremost, I plan on going to uh, the property uh, down south here this weekend, so hopefully I will be able to make some videos for you there. I don't know. <coughs> to the new members, thank you for signing up. Um, guys, I will. this is kind of important, so I will be releasing this video uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours uh, because I don't think people see what is coming. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they don't have time. Maybe maybe I have time to do it because I'm retired and I live my life in the YouTube realm. Uh, but, uh, you know, so I have time to do the research that you don't. Uh, so there's a couple things that are going on. Uh, and uh, I know I owe you guys a uh, probably a, um, uh, the, a sit rep, a situation brief. But I think right now it's more important to realize some of the things that are happening. So. Uh, I just got done watching a uh, um, a, a video from uh, James O'Keefe on FEMA, you know, uh, and um, the, the bottom line is FEMA is not what you think it is. Right now, it's at the bottom of the newsreel because, you know, everybody's thinking about the elections, so on and so forth. But uh, I would like people just to remember that I told you so, not in a bad way, but FEMA is not an organization that is there to help people. They are a... They're, they're, they're a holding place. They're a, uh, a broker for the government money. And unfortunately, they are now full of DEI uh, agendists. Uh, and uh, the people that work there are either in on it or they are come to the realization that if they go against it, that they will lose their jobs. So uh, I will put a link in the description to that video so that you can watch it. Uh, and... Um, Actually, no. I'll put it in the. I'll put it in. I'll pin it uh, in the description, or I will pin it in the comments. Because if I put it in the description, then the YouTubes will see that, and they will make the video so a lot of people don't see it, and that's not what we want. Um, also, the October jobs report just came out, and uh, regardless of what all the people in the blue ties say about how great they job they've done, the October jobs report is not a joke. We actually lost 28,000 private sector jobs. Uh, there was an expected 90% or 90,000 gain, and we went negative 28,000 jobs. So for those people that think that, oh, they're making great jobs for everybody, it's not true, we've all seen this. Uh, there was actually a factory job loss of 40,000, uh, while the government added 40,000 jobs to the government payroll. So, gee, I couldn't tell you what's going on there, but I think it's kind of important. Um, the uh, rolling into uh, our dollar, why we have such bad inflation. Um, the US dollar is in real trouble, guys, between the threat of BRICS, which is becoming a real thing. If you didn't know that, all of those nations met in Russia. Um, our economy is failing and inflation is through the roof. Um, it, it's a it's a serious issue. You know, the Fed is uh, what what most would call in the adjustment mode uh, and making it very unclear what will happen. Uh, we could be looking at a twenty to twenty five percent inflation rate, uh, and they they can't hide it anymore, uh, and that would mean hyperinflation. For those of you that are, that are not paying attention. Or, or should I say, for those of those people, you guys are obviously paying attention. Uh, but for those people who have not been paying attention, you know, a uh, a gallon of milk should not be five dollars. And say, you know, a, a couple of uh, reasonably reasonable quality steaks should not be fifty dollars. Uh, and uh, but they, they can't hide it anymore. So I think at this point they'll just be like they'll blame it on something. The someone's gonna fall for this and um or, or, or should i gonna say take the fall for this be asked to fall on his sword and then one day he will re-emerge as the secretary of dumbassery someplace in an administration um election day winter is coming guys you're going to start hearing more about winter is coming after the election uh there was no october surprise uh but they sure did try they sure did try, uh, and every, every single thing that they did completely failed. Uh, yes, I know about them setting um, drop boxes on fire in areas where people are normally conservative. 
Uh, I, I know all about that. What are we going to do? Someone will have to figure something out. Otherwise, elections could be nullified. Um, the, uh, the mainstream media is in full disinformation mode. They have been altering content uh, to, in, to, to include the White House stenographer core. Uh, they actually put out a press release saying, please don't talk about this, that, and the other thing because our stenographers didn't take it down right or you're not saying the things that we want you to say. It's actually happening. There was actually a press release uh, about 12 hours ago. Uh, you know, um, and uh, this altering of the content is kind of crazy because the mainstream media is actually starting to say things that are factually untrue. I think they believe that no one will fact check them, that they are the masters of the fact check peoples, uh, and that, um, yeah, they're going to get away with it. And uh, it's not working because early voting is blowing their plans out of the water. I think they're, uh, they're, 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 the idea of them adding that little graph to their funny thing where the sh 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 that kind of thing, I think it's going away. And I think that they're that they're in their death throes because they know this is pretty much over. Um, you know, um, there was a there was a comment on the Western Lensman. Uh, he actually makes some pretty interesting stuff on X. I do recommend that you that you watch some of the things he says, but don't get sucked too far in. Remember, that's my job. I just relay the information that I find that I think is applicable to the things that you guys like. Um, and he said that the people that scream the loudest about disinformation are normally the very worst purveyors of it. So what, what I'm finding is that uh, the mainstream media, the administration, those people that are super blue tie wearers are very quick to start screaming about disinformation and liar, liar, pants on fire uh, when you're literally standing in a fire seat. All right, um, I think that's gonna be about it. Uh, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Don't let the world crush your dreams. You're gonna be fine. As usual, keep praying, uh, preparing because we don't know what is coming. Uh, and like I said, this will be released to uh, the, the general public on the old YouTubes, probably in 24 to 48 hours. Uh, and um, yeah, if you guys like these kind of reports, only the members get them, remember that. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up as you're on your way out the door. If you have not subscribed, well, the members have obviously, but if you're new and watching this because it got released, do me a favor, subscribe. And uh, if you want to get access to more of this type of information, do me a favor, contemplate becoming a member, join the YouTube club. All right, guys, that's going to be about it. I think I've got to go get ready for the weekend. Stay safe, have a great day, and I shall see you when I see you. Bye-bye.